the laser has an infinite number of applications in terms of healing. The laser is very different. I mean, there's, there's nothing similar. And when I saw Dr. Lytle's laser instrument, I can use this as a good way of doing acupuncture. There's just unlimited things that the laser will do, from migraines to asthma to sciatic nerves. I couldn't believe that it was so easy and that the pain was gone. He's given me a great deal of hope and none of this would be possible without laser therapy. This is ancient wisdom. Helio meaning sun, meaning light. Therapy, so it's healing with light. Dr. Lytle takes you to the whole next level in terms of understanding and having belief in what the laser can do. I see Dr. Lytle as a healing visionary because the light source, the laser, is being used with no boundaries. Light is healing. Our sun is light. Uh, the sun is healing. Energy is healing. Uh, the laser is just another way of carrying that light to the body. It would probably be really nice if we just called it healing light. In 1994, Dr. Larry Lytle was invited to a world conference on lasers and dentistry. He saw impressive results using low-level lasers for pain control and healing. He set out to understand why the lasers worked. All living things are comprised of cells. For our bodies to be healthy, our cells must be healthy. And for our cells to be healthy, they need energy. If you lose energy in a cell, the cell will die. A key to regaining health, then, is to deliver new energy to our cells. Dr. Lytle's vision was that low-level lasers were a way of delivering healing energy to our body at the cellular level. The laser restores that cellular energy. And when it restores that cellular energy, everything works better. Low-level laser therapy can be used to diminish inflammation, relieve pain, increase blood circulation, stimulate bone repair, and reduce infection. I've been an athlete all my life. Ten years ago, I had two different orthopedic surgeons tell me that I need a new knee. And I was in a lot of pain, and I thought maybe that was the answer, but they also told me that I was too young and that I should change my lifestyle and curtail my sports activities, and that was difficult to to listen to. Before Dr. Lytle introduced me to laser therapy, my pain level, even with drugs, was off the charts. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was probably 12, 15, or 20. And one day on the racquetball court, I met Dr. Lytle. And I had just been to the doctor, and they told me to quit playing racquetball for a while and do drugs. And Dr. Lytle said, have you ever heard of laser therapy? And I tried it. And I got excited, and it worked. And I didn't have to quit playing racquetball. And it was a whole new world to me that I could deal with this pain without drugs. That's what our low-level laser does best, is to restore the cellular energy that's lost either because of sickness and or surgery and or injury of any nature. It works at the cellular level. What makes the lasers that, are, that I patented different is the fact that you cannot do everything with one laser, one wavelength. So knowing that, I started to combine multiple lasers doing multiple benefits controlled by computers. That's why our lasers are different than the other lasers that you might find in the marketplace. Put this on button on and then push this right button two quick times and that pushes, puts you on mode two. That's the frequency for the brain. You see it starting to, to blank now, and you get your migraines more in the side or the front? In the front. Okay, then we would put it right over where you get your migraines, right there, and you would hold it in that position. When I had my headaches, migraine, the migraines, um, Dr. Lytle had said I could use the laser on the trigger points of a migraine, which is in this particular area is where I use it. So I would actually put my laser right there and within five to ten minutes after the use of the laser I have no migraine it's completely gone 
in my community we use, do a lot of the natural healing things and this laser has just fit in so well because we do use this as a natural healing. There is nothing that the laser could not potentially benefit because we're all just cells and energy. And when you can deliver energy back to the body with a laser, then you're helping the body. There are over 2,500 studies that have been done at university hospitals, private and government-run laboratories, and laser centers around the world that substantiate the effectiveness and safety of using low-level lasers for healing a variety of illnesses and injuries. There are no risks using the laser. Now, let me make it clear that certain lasers of higher power can cause damage to the eye. So when I use the word laser, you have to understand I'm talking about a very subtle energy laser. Every time I would have a patient that would come into my office that had yes. anything at all that I even thought might be helped by the laser, I would explain that I have this device called a, a soft tissue, I call it a healing laser, and I'd explain that it's an unfocused laser, it won't hurt, it won't burn, it's totally safe, uh, but I want to treat this, whatever it is the patient had, and see if it'll help in any way, because it can't hurt. My notes were that you have a, a pain in the front somewhere, would you show me? It's about right here. It's been going on for a while and nobody could figure out what it is. What I'd like to do before we even think of anything else is treat it with something called a soft tissue laser. Uh, it's a very simple device and it uh, has a number of lasers in it and the laser diodes send a healing energy that cannot hurt anything. And she called me two weeks later and she said, I have to tell you, about six or eight hours after you treated me with that laser, the pain went away. I said, went away how much? She said, no, 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 went away. It was gone. In learning about Dr. Lytle's lasers, um, these are lasers that are not cutting lasers. And beside having an effect on smooth muscle and relating to head and neck pain, I found there were many uses in dentistry for the lasers. I've used the laser in place of uh, local anesthesia, I had a decay under a filling, so he asked me when he was about to drill whether I was open to using this new laser, and it worked in about 70% of the cases. So he applied the laser to the area and uh, started to drill, and I did not feel a thing, which was sort of amazing to me. <laughs> I think every dental office should have a visible light laser. My practice is essentially a 20-year practice. The reason I like Larry's soft laser, because essentially it's just like the word, soft. It softens the effect. The soft laser has actually created a bigger difference in my patients, because it's more beneficial with less swelling, less pain. They perceive no pain. They perceive no swelling. And that's the true benefit. This soft laser uh, is built to be very safe. I have never seen any damage with soft lasers at all, and I use soft lasers tremendously. When lasers are used in surgery, I get very concerned because we're talking about a high-energy light source that is focused in order to cut human tissue. And in this case, we're talking about a light source which is specifically unfocused so as not to cut anything. People don't even feel any uh, heat from it, or any, although some very sensitive people say, I feel something. <laughs> so no, I'm not concerned at all about it. They're absolutely safe. And so when you use it too long, you're just wasting your time. With light, you can't use too much light. It's safe. Dr. Quinney, a Western-trained general surgeon, has been using traditional Chinese acupuncture for 30 years as an added healing discipline to help his patients. And when I saw Dr. Lytle's laser instrument, I told myself right away, and I said, I bet you I can use this as a good way of doing acupuncture. Acupuncture is based on the principles of applying needles or pressure to some of the 670 acupoints on the body to positively affect the body's balance of energy. Dr. Lytle's laser instrument does what the acupuncture needle does in restoring the disturbed flow of energy 
our laser, when you substitute in place of the needle or the pressure, will work in a few seconds compared to minutes with the needles. Dr. Quinney's patient had severe gallbladder pain. I started giving this patient laser therapy for gallbladder problem based on acupuncture principles. You should not feel any pain. Are you feeling anything, Mrs. JP? No, no, it's quite painless. Feel A like major pain. benefit of Dr. Lytle's laser instrument is that it enhances the healing power of the body. I can say to you, 110% that low-level laser therapy helps both before and after surgery. Patients are relieved of pain without medications. They recover faster. I've been asked the question, uh, do you have to go to a doctor to use this laser? The answer to that is no, but yet many doctors use the laser, chiropractors use it, dentists use it, uh, osteopaths use the laser, but probably the main people that use the laser are just people like you and I. The laser is a very simple item to use. There's just no mistakes. I developed a bone spur and I was treated by a podiatrist over a three month period of time. Um, the pain never really subsided, even after the cortisone shots and the whirlpool baths. And so I proceeded to use every day the six pressure points on my body and then take the head of the laser and use it on my heel. I do it now not in as much detail, but I use the laser every day. What has happened is it's eliminated almost all pain and problems in my feet. And that's something that I've lived with almost my whole life. Burns are some of the most difficult injuries to heal. I'd stepped into my hot tub early one morning, uh, not realizing that the thermostat had gone out overnight and that the water temperature had increased to approximately 140 degrees, scalding my right leg from the knee to the foot. Laser therapy accelerates the healing process. I lasered uh, twice a day for the first uh, three or four days. At about day three, we went to the emergency room of the local hospital, and the doctor saw me. I asked him, at, just as a, to see what his opinion was, on what the healing time would be. He suggested that it would likely be four weeks until I could put long pants back on. Um, I continued to laser the leg with, with two lasers twice a day for the first four or five days. On day five, I actually went back to work with long pants on and on day nine the wound looked pretty much totally healed about like you might look with a bad sunburn and I did nothing other than the burn cream and, and lasering and so we went from a nine day healing uh, nine day heal to what the emergency room doctor thought would be four weeks today my leg is completely normal there's no scarring whatsoever on the leg the hair completely regrew into the burn area the laser is very simple to use. In fact, it was so simple that I really couldn't believe it was going to do anything. The pain started here in my shoulder, and I would wake in the night crying with the pain. I used the laser on my shoulder and the place that it hurt, but the pain was radiating down my arm and into my hand, and my, and my right hand was numb. Um, this finger was totally numb and I was afraid I was losing the use of my hand. I put the, the laser on my shoulder, also in that notch right on your elbow, and just used it for three minutes each place, just a couple of times, and the pain was gone, and I could sleep again. Uh, I see Dr. Lytle as a uh, healing visionary. I don't want to think of him as a dental visionary or a medical visionary because the light source, the laser, is being used with no boundaries. I feel that there's basically nothing that laser won't try to fix. <laughs> it works. In two words, it works. And it helps me in practice. It's wonderful. From my own experience, it has been incredibly beneficial. And I'm really impressed with its potential.
the quality of life is dependent upon the energy that you have around you and in you. The laser is a method of delivering energy to the body. It improves your quality of life. The laser has absolutely changed my life. I'm 62 and nothing hurts. What more can I say? He's given me a great deal of hope. Without laser therapy, racquetball would just be a spectator sport and I can continue to have a good quality of life. And none of this would be possible without laser therapy.